we will be the model that sets the standard for other cities in having a robust police community relationship. Chattanooga, Tennessee, known for its scenic beauty, rising tuxine and rich history, another scandal is brewing and beneath its tranquil surface, a storm within its police department has people comparing the breach of trust to that of the super mayor, Tiffany Hinyard. Except this time at the center of it all is former police chief Celeste Murphy. In her opening statements from 2022, TBI investigators alleged Murphy falsified her information to apply for a Tennessee driver's license and voter registration, among other documents. Here is a list of the charges she was indicted on. These include free counts of forgery, free counts of perjury, free counts of false entries into governmental records, a false entry on an election document and illegal voter registration, and six counts of official misconduct. This narrative delves into the perplexing question, are all these cases contagious, a result of external influences, or have these officials been engaging in illicit activities all along, only to be caught in this web of justice? And just a quick sidebar, if this is your first time tuning in to Southern Confidential, welcome, and to all of our returning subscribers, welcome back please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. We would love to have you as a part of the SC family. Now, back to our story. Former police chief Celeste Murphy, once a towering figure of authority and respect, joins the likes of self-proclaimed super mayor Tiffany Henyard. But fortunately for Murphy, she knew the gig was up and immediately stepped down after being charged by the Tennessee Bureau of Investigations. So here's what happened. The Hamilton County Grand Jury returned a 17 count indictment charging Miss Murphy with one count of illegal voter registration, one count of false entries, on an official registration or election documents, three counts of false entries in governmental records, three counts of forgery, three counts of perjury, and six counts of official misconduct, including executing an arrest. TBI had been investigating Murphy over allegations of misconduct. According to TBI, agents discovered Murphy had lied on documents related to her residency in Chattanooga. Now, this is reckless and makes absolutely no sense in my opinion. So your career and your reputation have been destroyed because you lied on election and residency documents to hide what? Your ill-gotten gains? And she had recently renewed her employment contract with the city of Chattanooga and was known actually for drastically reducing crime. Now her world has been turned upside down because of her entitlement and apparent looming propensity to lie on official documents. Okay, guys, I will say this. She previously worked as the deputy chief for Atlanta PD, who we all know has produced some characters. That's all I'll say about that for now. But Chief Celeste Murphy's story is a cautionary tale, a stark reminder that even those who wear badges can succumb to greed and corruption. So guys, don't forget to let me know your thoughts. Was this a one and done situation or is she like many others who have that looming propensity to be dishonest? So stay tuned to Southern Confidential for this developing story and please hit the subscribe button on your way out and I will see you on the next video. Thank you.